Well guys, it's finally time the Pokemon Company has put out a tweet this afternoon that says, Exciting news trainers, tomorrow at 6am PST, we'll be sharing a brand new trailer for the Hidden Treasure of Area Zero Part 2, the Indigo Disc. So yeah, we've been waiting for some Indigo Disc news for a long time. I really find it dumb how they're doing this tomorrow because tomorrow is literally going to be one week before the DLC comes out. So I really think if they had a trailer like last month in November and gave us something to kind of chew on for a little bit and really speculate and theorize about, it would have been much more fun. And instead, we're just getting something so close. But either way, we're going to get some type of news tomorrow. And there's definitely going to be a lot of potential for what they could show, especially because of Riddler Koo, who's pretty much been keeping the entire hype season for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's DLC alive single-handedly by giving us teases for what the DLC is going to be like. And if you don't know who Riddler Koo is, he is the most credible leaker that we have when it comes to Pokemon stuff. And so in this video, we're just going to be kind of giving predictions and ideas for what exactly we could see inside of the trailer tomorrow and what to expect. Now real quick before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I am having a special giveaway for the holidays where I'm giving away a digital download code for any Nintendo Switch game or DLC and all you got to do to enter is click the link below in the description or the pinned comment and you can have a chance to win any Nintendo Switch game or DLC that you want whether it's the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Boosters Course Pass or Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Mario Wonder, any Nintendo Switch game that you want. The giveaway does end right before Christmas so definitely be sure to click the link below and enter for a chance to win. Now I'm not going to be editing this video as much as I do with my usual videos and that's mainly because this video is going to be outdated in just a few hours once that trailer comes out but I still want to talk to you guys about some predictions for what we could expect to see tomorrow so feel free to just tab out and listen to me if you don't really want to watch the stuff that's on screen as it is mainly just going to be my screen and just going through some of the different things that I'm talking about here but the first prediction that we do have here is of course the new Paradox Pokemon as we know now that there's going to be Paradox Pokemons for two trios one from Generation 2 with the dogs and then also the swords of justice from generation 5 and we've already seen paradox raikou as well as paradox suicune and the one that's missing is of course paradox entei and then for the other set we've obviously seen paradox verizian and we've seen paradox cobalion but we're still missing paradox terrakion so it's very possible that we could see both of these paradoxes or at least one of them inside of the trailer tomorrow personally i'm really hoping that they actually keep this a secret and we don't find out till the dlc actually comes out or like a few hours before once it gets data mined or something but either way I feel like they shouldn't really spoil the surprise but then again because this DLC trailer is happening so close to when it's actually coming out I guess it doesn't really even matter if they actually show it so that is definitely a possibility for something that we could see. All right, but now moving into the riddles that we've had for the past couple of weeks from Riddler Koo, the first thing that we know about is, of course, that there's going to be some different method that's going to be inside of the Indigo Disc that's going to allow you to be able to catch previous legendary Pokemon, and that some legendary Pokemon are actually going to have like a static encounter or like a special way of being able to obtain them that actually requires finding items. And so we actually data mine that there's 25 new items named after these 25 legendary Pokemon that we see here. And so these are going to be the kind of static encounters or the legendaries that you can encounter through kind of just getting these items inside of the DLC. Now, of course, these are not going to be every single legendary as there's still a bunch that are missing here, but these are going to be the ones that you're actually going to be able to encounter in a cool method that's going to be inside of the DLC itself. So it's very possible that the trailer tomorrow is actually going to showcase what this new method is because we don't really have any idea what the method is for catching these legendaries. We just know that they are going to have something like that. So I feel like this would definitely be a really big thing to kind of hype people up by showing them legendary Pokemon and that you can encounter them so it's very likely that we're probably going to see this method inside of the trailer tomorrow. Something else that we could possibly see tomorrow is more information on Terrapagos, as Terrapagos is still a Pokemon that we don't really know that much about, we don't even know the typing for it, and Riddler Koo did tease us here that the ability for this Pokemon is something defensive. Now, we don't know if that means it's going to be some brand new ability that we've never heard about that's going to be defensive, or just like a common defensive ability that we've already seen before, something like Shell Armor, which just prevents it from getting critical hits because of like this big shell that it has on it. I'm really hoping that it is some brand new ability that we don't know about, and it's some really cool ability that's gonna have some really awesome like defensive mechanic that would be really cool to see so maybe we'll get some information about that in the trailer tomorrow. 
Now the 19 type is still something that we have barely any information about when it comes to the Indigo Disc DLC as the Pokemon company teased to us that like little clip of like seeing Terrapagos getting like that crown with every single type fused onto it and so we know that there's going to be some type of really cool brand new icon here for this 19 type but we have no information about exactly how this is going to work, how Pokemon are going to get it, what does it even do in battle, what's going to work for it so I think it would be really cool to get some actual information about it, maybe the name for it as what Riddler Koo said here was like what is the authentic name for this type we can't just call it a number with like the 19 type all the time and he said pick unrelated but I don't know I feel like this is kind of fishy because he put a pick of Omni Man here and I was kind of thinking myself that this type would have the perfect type name if it was actually called the Omni type because it looks like it's combining every single typing together so maybe it is going to be called the Omni type or something but yeah I feel like we should definitely get some new information or at least like a little kind of like update about exactly what this is going to work and like how it's going to be uh, used in terms of battle so maybe we're going to get a little bit of information about that inside of the trailer tomorrow. Now another one of the features that we've been teased about for the Indigo Disc is some type of PK Hex feature and so this is going to be some feature that allows you to be able to apparently edit something in terms of your Pokemon and I mean the Riddler didn't know really exactly how to describe this so he just kept saying the PK Hex feature or like some type of editing feature that's going to be inside of this and it's very possible if this is going to be like a big deal and it's going to be a big feature that's going to be inside of the Indigo Disc we could definitely see that inside of the trailer tomorrow and so it was like a troll post apparently here that he said here was like finally time to guess what this PK hex feature is going to be and it was like shininess conversion gender fluid IV adjustment and moving balls and I mean people said here that the best guess for this was IV adjustment which honestly makes the most sense if you can actually have some type of feature that allows you to be able to control like what IVs you want to set on your Pokemon this would be amazing because right now there is no way to be able to do that to set your IVs to zero and that's the worst thing because we've had those bottle caps for years that allows you to be able to max out an IV in a certain stat or being able to get all of your IVs maxed out to six IV Pokemon that's great and all but sometimes you want to have zero IVs for a Pokemon like Ferrothorn if you want to give it like no speed so that you can have it be really useful in like a trick room team and there's no way to actually do that in like an easy way in terms of the games so this would be amazing if there's like an IV adjustment feature that you can just put and it instantly allows you to be able to switch the IVs for your Pokemon and you can set everything to zero or to like 152 or like max them out or everything I think that would be really cool so I'm very excited to see what this Pika Hex like feature is going to be and then finally, the last thing that we have here is another teaser from Riddler Koo, where he said here, choose your side, and it's a picture of Carmine and Nimona, but then we also have Lacey and Nimona, so it seems like Nimona is just going to be a part of this no matter which one you choose, but you might be able to choose if you want to have Carmine join with you or Lacey, and I mean, we have heard that the Indigo Disc is going to be heavily influenced by double battles, and you're going to be constantly doing double battles, so maybe this is going to be like who you can bring as your partners for double battles, or maybe you're going to have to battle against these two teaming up, and you can choose to have either Carmine and Nimona together or Lacey and Nimona so maybe it's gonna have something to do with that but maybe we could see like a little tease for that and especially with what's gonna happen with Kieran inside of this DLC it is gonna be exciting to see how all of these characters are gonna come together. But yeah, there you go. Those are pretty much all of the predictions that we have for what we could see inside of the Indigo Disc trailer tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to click that like button and also subscribe to the channel as well as I am going to be having more videos talking about Pokemon and the DLC for the Indigo Disc as everything comes out. Comment down below and let me know what your predictions are for the trailer tomorrow. What are you really hoping to see? Or is there anything that you don't want them to show? Definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. Go follow me on Twitter at ActualArrow so you can be featured in videos and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo. So definitely be sure to join that. And remember to enter my giveaway as well. I am giving away a digital download code for any Nintendo Switch game. And all you got to do to enter is just click the link below in the description or the pinned comment. And you can have a chance to win any Nintendo Switch game that you want. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.